this tutorial we're going to look at After Effects Twig Store and Sound Keys. You're going to need After Effects, Fraps to capture game video. I recommend capturing at 50 to 60 frames per second for the best effect. This is an example of Twig Store. You can remap the speed of the video, slow it down for a crit or something. This is an example of Twig Store and Sound Keys. Okay, let's make a new composition. And uh, these are the settings I typically use. 720p, 30 frames per second, Full quality, okay. Let's go ahead and pull a video down. This video was shot at 35 frames per second. First I'm going to go to transform, fit to comp, fit it to our 720p format. Next let's go to effect, revision plugins, Twig Store, Pro. Here you need to change the input frame rate to match your video frame rate. This is going to be 35 frames per second. You can see 35. Make sure that says 35. Make sure these settings are like this. Take a look at the speed. You can make it faster or slower. 100% is what it starts at. Uh, motion blur compensation. You can put it at 0.2 to 0.5. Motion blur gives it a warping effect, like a blur effect, when the motion is fast. Alright, 79k crit. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to slow it down right here. Put a keyframe down. Click the keyframe button. Here I'm going to increase the speed to 120%. And you can see I set motion blur to 0.5, so it's going to make it blur a little bit as I move quickly. All right, you can see the keyframe is down there. Now move over like one frame or something, or move over just a little bit and set it to five. This is going to make it really slow. Now it's a really slow motion. Move over about one second and set it to 10. and move over uh, about another second, second and a half, maybe two seconds, and set it back to 120. So now you have an effect where it's moving at faster, slightly faster than normal speed, and then it slows down, hits a big crit, and then slowly ramps back up to normal speed. Here's another example. I'm running and healing. The motion is fast, and then it slows down for a big crit. Here's how I do it. Uh, set the input frame rate. In this video, the frame rate is 50. Try to shoot at 50 frames per second. You get a really good effect. Okay, and I'm at 150% speed. And right here before I crit, I slow it down to 5. You can see right here it says 5. Motion blur is 0.25. Go over about a second. Set it to 10. And then another second and a half, 2 seconds. Set it back to 150 and that gives us that, that effect. Drag the video that you want to edit into the new composition and uh, let's select a sound file that we want to map the video to. Drag the sound file in, go to Effect, and apply Twixtor Pro to the video. Uh, select the frame rate, which is 35 in this example. Now uh, press the speed keyframe Set the motion blur to 0.5. Make a new adjustment layer. The adjustment layer is going to have sound keys. Here you can drag this bar to match some characteristic of the audio. In this case it's the beat. Here for output, select custom. So this is basically going to be the speed. The minimum speed will be 20, which is really slow, and maximum will be 360, which is really fast. 
click the apply button. Okay, so now select the video and press U on your keyboard and you'll see the speed keyframe. Select the speed, go to animation menu, add expression. Select the adjustment layer and drag this to the output. Now the video speed is matched to the audio. Now for a better effect, I like to choose linear and select about 0.5 as the fall off time. It kind of makes a smooth effect. Click the apply button. Now you can drag this around for uh, a different effect. If the effect doesn't look how you want, just uh, drag the range around. You can match it up with different parts of the sound for a different effect. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Good luck and have fun.